Welcome to Geek Blast. Geek Blast, yeah, 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 yeah. Geek Blast, you better make way. You open up your ears and let the word spray. Hey, hey, did you hear the noise? Something just exploded as a mushroom, have you noticed? Geek Blast, clear out the pad. Kids was throwing caca and Chewbacca is a rat. Hey, what? Better call your dad. Something has been growing underneath the doormat. Geek Blast. Welcome back, geeks, nerds, and dweebs alike. Yeah. I'm Mike. I'm Dave. I'm Toombs. And I'm James. James is sleeping in the James background. Sounds tired. He's on <laughs> New <laughs> He's on English time. And uh, once again, uh, yes. we have Dennis with us. Dennis, how are you doing this evening? All right, gentlemen. Good. Good to have you back. Um, James, it's good to have you back too. I don't want to leave. Yeah. You back. Yeah. Tombs and Dave are here with me, so I see He's them all the time. He's just tired. He may take a nap for um, the uh, duration of this episode. Uh, tonight's episode, we are going to talk about TV and video games. Yes. Because um, it's been a while. Yeah. I, I must admit, I stopped my binge for quite a while. Your game you binge? Know? Yes, and then it's just happened to start back up the last month. Well, you know, see, because you, uh, you knew it's Geek Blast to, was coming back. It must have been in the back of my head, man, because yep. I just felt the need to time I got to pulled game, back time into game, the time controller. To game. Yes, yeah. yes, it happened. Lurking um, in the crevices. <laughs> yeah, lurking yes. in the crevices, that's As right. As always, lurking in the <laughs> darkest depths of that crevice between my taint. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. <laughs> my taint, somewhere between my taint and my gosh. All right, enough. Oh. Enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, my gosh. <laughs> Powerful <laughs> was he. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yes. do you know the taint is the most tender part of the body? Tender taints? You never yes. want to mess with them. <laughs> they are the bad. Of the body. Um, all right. So like let's get started. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> let's get started on some game talk. Yeah. Uh, first, I want to jump into no. what Dennis does because he's got an obsession He's obsessed about it. He just he's like probably one of the people that are gonna lose his job over it. What? Watching porn at work. Dennis, what game do you play? World of Warcraft. Oh, yes. it's another Obi Wan. <laughs> he oh, no. is obsessed. Now let me ask you, how much time do you spend I know you're playing it right now as we're as we're talking. I mean, let's just be real. How much time do you actually spend playing the game? You know, I've actually cut down. <laughs> That's what they all say. Have you lost no, a lot of weight? Have you lost how many pounds have you lost in the last week? <laughs> From not eating? From not eating, <laughs> yeah. yes. Well luckily the refrigerator's not that far away, but you How's know, your I, how's I, your bladder holding up? Any kidney stones, anything of that nature? <laughs> no, there's always a Gatorade bottle nearby. Okay, good. Good That's for good. flushing. So how many hours? You know, I probably spend I used to spend two to three hours a night on average with Longer hours on my days off. Right. That's but not now, that bad. yeah, it's not that bad. No, it's not bad. It Compared to, to our like, last pal that we had, yeah. used to be a lot worse. Every time the ex- an expansion comes out, I take a couple uh, of days of off work and binge it out. Yeah, of course. But now it's usually I spend about an hour, maybe two a night before I go to bed. Dude, there's Just nothing doing... wrong with that, man. That's what I do myself. So, you know, the killer thing is I got stuff from my my game my console <laughs> that I think I have the entire God of War trilogy unopened. I wow. have Arkham City, Asylum, Planet. I've only made it maybe a third of the way through the first one. So yeah. your obsession is so bad, you won't even play other games. Yeah, I know oh. how that is, though. I know how that is, because I keep going back to this one little piece of shit, you yeah. know, and it's been what going game? on for about a year straight. What game? Destiny. Destiny, oh, yeah. Destiny. Destiny keep yes. Keep going back to it's another one. But well, let me ask you this question. Do you have your console on a separate TV in a separate room? Or yes. is it hooked up to, see, that's what I have my computer on, but my console is hooked up to the main TV. So if we're in the living room, we're watching TV. We're not. She won't let me play See, the console. My console's yeah, hooked awesome. up to my main TV because I love my main TV. But when I want to play, I just it, it happens. And all the all yes, the games are broken. <laughs> they must just deal with it. The others, <laughs> the other ones, you know, the ones I mean. I just con her into saying, yeah. "Hey, let's play this," and she's like, "Yeah, oh, okay." There you go. Well, then you got it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till you have kids. Yeah, if she's into it. Yeah, it's really got her to play Lego Batman too. Before <laughs> she's like, "I keep running in circles. I keep running in circles." I quit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, well, it usually winds up being me playing, playing. Half an hour goes by, they fall asleep, and I just keep playing. And I'm in bliss, you know. So, so here's a question: Everybody else you. is sleeping. Dennis, have you gotten in? You know, have you gotten any um, slack for playing the game as much you as mean you mean flack? Flack, 
Uh, Flack, I'm sorry, yes. Change that S to an F. I give you slack no, for flack. playing the game, but yeah, Flack, I meant, I'm sorry. Thanks um, for the correction. I, I used to. Um, but now she's wife number two wasn't a fan, but wife number three is. <laughs> she gave up. Yeah. Wife number three is very understanding. Plus, oh, I cool. don't do it during quote unquote hour time. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know, that's good. So, so, how do you differentiate the hour time and your time thing? See, I never really figured that out. Okay, real simple. <laughs> it's just, uh, I just kind of think between it's my time now. is our time. So between the hours of, say, 8 and 11, mm. we're watching TV or we're doing our thing. When she goes to bed, if it's not nookie night, then I'm down here playing uh, the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, I switch you got to have a schedule. Yeah. got to have yeah. a schedule. Yes. All right. Well, let's... Especially when a kid pops into okay. Yeah, the then, then you're really just throwing in the whole new uh, curveball. Play Mafia. Uh, well, so let's me... get into some news, Tombs. What do we got? Uh, what, what have you been All right. Well, of course, on? you know, co- coincidentally... Huh? <laughs> what was that? TFK. TFK. He, he called you gay. Uh, no, I yeah. said TFK. Oh, oh Not sorry. that there's anything wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Anyways, um, yeah, coincidentally, the Taken King came back, uh, out last week. Taken so I've been King. binging on that, probably put about 30 hours into it wow. of additional content. I'm, I can't wait to get home and just keep going, you know? <laughs> um, Lucky. I'll tell you some things if you don't know. Um since uh, the regular game, you know, that capped off at level 30, now your new level is 40. So you're going to max up another 10, 10 levels, you know, is which a takes lot? a little bit. Of, eh, it's about eight hours. Okay. You know, it's nothing too crazy, you know. But once you get past that level 40, then you got to upgrade all your light gear. And that's why swapping out old gear and getting new gear. They no longer work on a system of how powerful the gear is. It's about getting new gear that's more powerful, not upgrading gear or doing the raids to get mm. the best gear. That's good. So, yeah, it adds a little bit more um, choices for, yeah. for people who don't want to just play raids. Like, like James Me. there. He's never played a raid. God, I don't know how. I mean, that's like the meat of the game and the best thing. I don't have the time. I don't have the time to sit down for six hours and just sweat one hour. I wish you don't need six hours. You get on it with a group that knows what they're doing. Yeah, you know what I mean. You go on. Um, I think it's Destiny. uh, Yeah, the Destiny Forum dot com. Yeah, and (laughs) you just make a team, man. You jump on with a team that knows what they're doing, and they'll blow you through within like two hours. I know it sounds great. I don't want to blow. I want to to experience the game. You will. You will, because you'll have no idea what you're doing. It'll be new to you. experience, man. And they'll all be yelling at you like, hey, English guy, do this. No. (laughs) You know, as long as you can follow commands, okay, you'll be all right. It sounds very much like, wow, raiding, upgrading gear, getting better. uh, My question to you. Now, let me me ask this. For somebody who's only seen the commercials, would you say it's kind of like Star Wars Old Republic meets Modern Warfare kind of thing? Star Wars Old Republic meets Call of Duty meets World of Warcraft. Ah, you forgot the Halo aspect. Okay. Um, So, also some new things about the game. Uh, With the Taken King, you get four new strikes, which is a huge deal because I think the original game only came with six. Yep. You know, then you got another two for The Dark Below, one for House of Wolves, which is the second expansion, and then another four for Taken King. Mm. So that gives you a complete four, five, six, seven, seven plus six is 13. 13 full strikes. We can add here, everybody. Yes. We can add. Well, I'm doing it for them. (laughs) So there's been how many actual DLCs since the game? One, two, and Taken King is the big book. You know, it's the big second year expansion. All right, so this will be the third expansion. Yeah, which is like triple the size of the first two. And for me, the guy who's still addicted to Skyrim, Mm -hmm. so it would be more like um, it's Dragonborn, basically, uh, in size. You know what I mean? Like, because Dragonborn was one of the bigger DLCs that came out. So Taken King would equate to that being like one of the bigger size downloads not something tiny. yeah yeah it's it's definitely a big expansion put it this way the other two expansions only let you jump up two levels 30 to 31 to 32 32 to 33 to 34 this one goes from 34 to 40 okay and then past 40 to an actual 42 in light experience which makes no sense to you but that's in- <laughs> that's just yeah, different- it's a big deal it, it's, it's very a big okay. deal it's hard for people to understand if you never played it but Bas- right. and also the higher the, your level uh, the easier it is to kill certain enemies so you, you yes. can go back to like Indeed. a level 1 mission and you can just literally one bang everything 
Yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. With the uh, <laughs> with the gear I have now, James, I still can't play the new raid, which is supposedly phenomenal. But um, what? Yeah, I still can't play it. I'm still grinding my way. A lot of grinding, just like World of Warcraft. You know, you're constantly yeah. grinding for better loot, better uh, better armor, better weapons. You know what I mean? So then Bungie fixed the camping spots. Yes, 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 yes. So um, I did Halo. Four new strikes, a whole new location called the Dreadnought. You know how there was plant. You know you got your uh, uh, what do you got? You got Mars. Uh, you had, had the Mar- moon, Mars, Earth, Venus, and Venus. Yeah. Now you have the Dreadnought, which is a gigantic oh, hive shopping. spaceship. So that's oh, that sounds cool. pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty dope. It is pretty dope, and it's and not that's off by Saturn. Yes, yes, the rings of Saturn. It's actually right in the middle of the rings of Saturn. A um, whole bunch of story content for that area, um, oh. and it features a new enemy called the Taken. Uh, basically, King Oryx takes all the enemies from the game and makes them his own by like transferring them into these like shadow creatures. Mind control. Yes, mind control. Uh, you forgot about not um, God, what's his name? Not Dinklebot, the new guy. The what? <laughs> the new, the new voice actor for the, for the little robot. Oh yeah, the, the new. I, I forget who does it, but yeah, there's a uh, new voice for your ghost. Dinklebot. He did the voice for <laughs> Deadpool and Deadpool game. I Nolan don't, I don't know his name. Oh, Nolan North. Yes, Nolan, Nolan North. North. Uncharted series for the those of you who don't know. Nathan Drake. Um. Yes, Nathan Drake. Uh, the story mode is much more involved. One problem the players had in the past with it was there was just no story to it. Now they're really starting to, you know, unlock on the uh, characters and really start to yeah. give expanse to the universe. So you'll like, notice a big difference when you play the expansion that there's a lot of cinematic story pieces. Yeah, like Nathan Fillion's in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They um, also, I said, like I said, they revamped the whole light system. It's based on your gear now. The better gear you have, the better stronger you are i think it maxes out of 300 um and there's a whole new subclass you know remember that little empty space yep it's filled now like for the warlock you get lightning ability Whoa, oh, i've seen that in use it looks pretty badass it's dope. You can, you can, dude you, you could clear out enemies. oh yeah. you could clear out a whole room in like two seconds dude it's it's awesome chain combo people so that's destiny i feel that it's very worth the you know i mean actually you could buy the legendary edition if you never buy any of the expansions you could buy destiny with everything in it for 60 bucks right now it has expansion one two and the taken king wow, and the game be, itself that's a pretty so good deal then. Yeah, worth it. you get everything i traded in my original destiny and they gave me 20 bucks towards now, the purchase of the other one nice. uh, if i'm not mistaken that's reasonable mm-hmm. De- destiny is only for ps4 PS4, Xbox One, it and is PC. For Xbox One. Okay. Yeah. And Xbox 360. And, and yeah. PS3 and 360, but they're lesser versions that are meek in comparison. So what are you, which system are you playing it on? PS4. Okay. Xbox One. Yeah. And you just bought a PS4. I oh, did. Oh, you need to get in this game. Um, Seriously, dude. So, well, I was going to say you don't have you don't have it for both systems that I was... Because I was going to no. ask you which looks better. You know, PS4. Uh, well, what do you have? Well, no, I'm, I don't. I have the PS4. You but have a PS4 and a PS3 and a 360, right? Correct. Yeah. So if you don't have an Xbox One, I mean, the definite choice is the PS4. Yeah. No, I was just, you know, mm-hmm. for the people listening. PS4. Have, yeah. PS4 is the definitive version because not Sony only graphics and stuff, they always have exclusives. Okay. Yeah, on strike. Wasn't it every- built on the PS4 platform? Um, yes. I th- I believe it was built. Yeah, first on the PS. Oh, wait a because minute. Actually, at the time, Bungie- I believe Bungie was in cahoots with it. Microsoft. I'm not sure about that. Uh, because Bungie left Microsoft, it was like yeah. it was. It started off from Microsoft platform. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, once and then, they were dicks, and Sony were like, "We'll take you, like, dude." Yeah, okay. as soon as Bungie left Microsoft, dude, uh, Sony was on that shit. They're like, "Yeah, we want exclusives at the ass and all this." Uh, yeah, but the new uh, Tomb Raider game is going to be exclusively Xbox One for like I think like a year or something. So that's pretty cool. And the last Tomb Raider game was awesome. So yeah, I'd say that. that the best platform for Destiny is PS4. Well, yeah, yeah, I would, I would agree too, because you get, you get more than you'd get on the Xbox One or get the more bang for your book. Yes, uh, Batman Arkham Asa- uh, Arkham Knight. I gave about eight hours, and then I dropped it. I mean, I don't know why. I know you'll love it. Yeah. I know you'll love it. But for me, when it's a sandbox game, it has to be a certain way. Right. And for some reason, it just got repetitious to me. Well, that. yeah, but all of them, the whole series is super repetitious, in my opinion. But it hasn't me, changed much besides the Batmobile. Right. And, and for a, me, the whole thing, what, for me, the draw to them, to mm-hmm. the Batman games, is the story. Like, yeah. I don't mind yeah. the repetition. And the fighting, 
the the way that the combat engine works is just so it is good it's, it's so a good free system flowing. Yeah. it just works so well so i mean that's for me i could i could wrap myself in that game do, for a long do, time do you know i just can't thing? i just can't get off of this stupid phone game right now you will you will <laughs> But the the thing for me, Dave, was the first Batman game I thoroughly loved and enjoyed yes. because it had more of like a Zelda esque feel. Do this to unlock this area, to unlock this area. And I love that about games like that that Zelda ish feel. Right. And then they strayed away from that and went more open world with the future installments and that kind of. Well, I, also, I kind of lost it from there. I think I that the the thing that hurt this the 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 series of games mm-hmm. itself is soon as cause the first two games were done by the same people, correct? Yes. Yeah. And then the rock third, steady, rock steady. And then the third game went to a third, somebody else, uh, third outside party. company to take yeah. care of it. And they were very um, Montreal, WB Montreal, or something like that. Right. They they were very, um, you know, they didn't have a lot of freedom in what they can do. Right. You know, what I mean, it was a bigger world, bigger this, bigger that, but it was kind of void and empty. I felt. Yeah. You know, but you played it. Yeah, I played it. What'd you it. think? I mean, did you play I, it all the way through? I played it all the way through. Uh, I was pretty happy with the story. Like the story. I was so the story dro- Sto- drove you. The story you know? drove me through the whole game. Uh, the thing I found... Which uh, Arkham Knight will probably do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, the thing you, I man. found out about mm-hmm. Origins as opposed to the fact that it took place supposedly beforehand and you were had the same combat skills as you had in the, in the second one. So right. to me, that felt a little bit like glossed over to be like, well, why are you... They more, didn't have a if, lot of why are you not more power, less powerful than the guy in the last game when you right, should be right. less powerful than the guy from the beginning of the first right, game? So right. you should have had less as opposed to more. It wasn't thoroughly thought no. out. You know, it was a rush yeah. job. Game. It was a rush job to make fans happy until Arkham Knight. Yeah. Um, when you, the same thing with Halo Reach. Yeah, same exact thing. Jetpacks and stuff. It's like, what? Where's this been? Yep, yep, yep. Um, Mad Max game came out actually to fair reviews in some areas. Um, that it's actually, actually looked really cool. It's actually pretty fun, man. But like the movie, it's pretty empty of uh, you know Story. depth, you know. Yeah. But as far as action goes and the vehicle maneuverability Driving and all that, like yeah, that it's, cool. it's it's actually pretty cool. That you know? sounds, it sounded fun. Yeah. I, I definitely wanted to like it looked like an like check a, it out. <clears throat> yeah, it'll like, be it'll be a used title for me. You know, I'll probably buy and return it within the seven days of the game. Right, yeah. yeah, it looked like something <laughs> like that. It, were, it, were, it would hearken me back to Twisted Metal. Like it looked like a really good version mixed, of Twisted mixed, Metal. You mixed, know what I mean? mixed Twisted Metal with really good third person action. Also, okay, you know, both of them. Yeah, both, best be of cool, both worlds. Um, also, I played Until Dawn. I'll get through that real quick. Um, oh, great yes. game, great game. Um, if you ever played like Heavy Rain or those type of games, it's um, kind of like you know based on that quick time and aim tactic type game. Um, very cinematic. Um, you got your eight players. You got to get them all to survive through this slashing horror, gashing in the mountains of Nar. Nowhere, you know, I don't even know where the hell it is. <laughs> the Nar. mountains of yeah, Nar. You're in the mountains of Nar, but uh, it's somewhere in America. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you're in the snowy mountains. Very atmospheric, very Resident Evil One feeling. Mm. You know, um, the the main very thing heavy. is to get all eight of your players to survive. I got about five of them to survive at the end. So based on all the decisions you make in the game, it's very decision oriented. Mm, that's cool. It's got a uh, nice feature called the butterfly effect. Where yes, you... it's actually called the butterfly effect. Uh, yeah. Butterfly effect. Yep. I watch a YouTuber called Syndicate, and I'm watching him play through it, and he's intensely trying to kill off everyone, and he saves someone. <laughs> That's crazy, because I felt like I really had to try to save you The know, only person he's uh, actively tried to kill was Emily, you know, the... Uh, oh, the I movie. hate her. Yeah, I got rid of yeah. her quick. So he, yep. so he shot her in the head. Yeah. yeah. Some of the <laughs> actors are actually very good. The doctor, he's the awesome guy that plays Satan in um, Constantine, that real creepy guy. Mm. Really Constantine good. the movie you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, okay. love that. Yeah. Guy. Real creepy dude. Um, great atmosphere, animations, like I said. Some of the actors are really, really great. Him got especially. Um, got the guy who plays Grant Ward from uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yep. As uh, yes. Mike, one of the more main Mike, characters. yep. That's right. And some of the other familiar... You'll, you'll look at some of the other characters and be like, dude, that like person looks Josh. really familiar, but not really <laughs> sure who that is. Um, Grant Ward guy also plays Starkiller in The Force Unleashed. Yeah. Did he? He might have. I don't remember. I, don't, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I think sure I remember that. seeing that going, huh, we'll take this guy work. looks familiar. And then I went back and saw the Force Unleashed. I'm like, it is him. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to spoil it a little bit and just tell you, you know, it starts as a slasher, like, okay, what are these things wearing masks? And it turns into this whole thing on its head about a wind- Windigo story. The mountains infested with Windigos. Oh, that's cool. That take over people. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But the 
the big thing about this game is it leaves you wanting to play more. It makes you want to retry and see what you could do differently. So it's got, it's, it's got good replay value. It's got replay value, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. Um, For me, that's important when you're buying a game, too. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. I don't it's, really it's buy real games important. unless they have a good replay ability. Or I like what you were saying, I'll buy it and maybe blow it out and then go return right. it for something else. I, I played this pretty much straight through, and then when I was done playing, I was like, dude, I immediately want to go back into these chapters and see how I could do this differently, treat this person differently, and see how the outcome would be different. Um, just a heads up, Dark Souls 3 will be released sometime next year. I can't wait because it'll be the first uh, incarnation on new systems. So can't wait to see that. And um, New systems, did you say? The, the new system. Oh, oh. You know. yeah. This new gen. Systems. Current gen. This right here? I, I thought yeah, he was yeah. saying it to This guy right here. This guy right here okay. in front of your face. No more Xbox 360s system. or PS3s. It's strictly going to be on new systems. I just thought you were saying they, came out with new, they were coming out with new systems. No, <laughs> no. So I'm like, Already, already? Dave? PS5. Oh, Next year, right? you, you didn't know? know? Xbox oh. 770. Yeah, 770. man. No, 720. <laughs> 720. Yeah. Sorry. 1080, yeah. Yeah. So um, well, I'm going to leave 4G on televisions. You've seen this, right? Oh, of course, I know you're yeah, up on, yeah, on TV course. tech. Xbox yeah. 2, 4G. Yeah, or 4K I mean, is it? I'm sorry. 4K. 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 Yeah, sorry, it's it's 4G. pretty amazing, but the only problem is nothing really supports it right now. There's not right. one Blu-ray. Right. There's not one PC. game. There's not one, yep. you know, which kind of sucks. But give it about a year, yeah. and then I'll buy a 4K television. Nah, <laughs> PC Master Race. The 3D TVs, too, that the same type of thing happened where they, they put out 3D TVs. And, and it didn't have no, any support. There's no yeah. content to even watch it on. Yeah. yeah. Base and there barely on. still is any support. There's yep. there's not a big catalog of 3D movies. There really isn't. Avatar, that was it. Yeah. Yeah, there's I a couple good was, ones, you know, that were I worthy. I ruined uh, Avengers Age of Ultron for myself because mm -hmm. I saw it in 3D first. And I hate 3D, but my, I saw it my friends. And I hate 3D because it can't cope with action. In fast-moving scenes, it's all blurry. Mm -hmm. So I was right. watching a, the Avengers, and there's one scene where the camera pans round Tony Stark's lab where he and uh, Bruce Banner are working on Ultron. Right. And it was just all blurry because the 3D couldn't mm. handle a camera panning motion. It also has to depend a lot on what TV you have, man. Like, I have a yeah. Panasonic uh, VT55, and it, it looks buttery, you know, like when you watch at, certain things. Is that margarine? I was at the cinema with the bit of margarine uh, new maybe. HD screenings they've got. Uh -huh. What? All right, well, so, stay um, on target. Stay on target. Yeah, I'm gone yeah. now. You've lost me. Um, <laughs> so, guys, I've been watching um, the spinoff, Fear of the Walking Dead. How do you guys, have any of you guys been watching it? I yes. have. Yes, been. don't get a flu shot. How do you feel? Worth, right? Yeah. How, how do you don't guys feel about shot. it? I mean, do you think it's up to par with its big brother? Because I, I really don't feel any similarity at all whatsoever. No. It doesn't even feel like it's the from the same was, universe. The beginning of the series was the same beginning as as The Walking Dead, if you think about what? it. No. No, what? I don't feel... You, you can't say that. Where you, Rick watching. wakes up Yeah, I feel like nowhere, it's a totally right? different world, man. Yeah, but you totally. can't... We Does, never what is the saw... beginning of Walking Dead? Maybe I'm getting it wrong then. The Walking Rick, Dead takes Rick place in a six hospital. Months Rick after. in a hospital waking up, right? No. Six months... At, no. Well, no? Well, no. It starts off with Rick getting shot. That's right, thank then, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's in the hospital. Society has not broken down yet. Okay, then I'm wrong. No, so, society has broken down because there's nothing left. Yeah. They abandoned Rick for dead. Right, That's right. After he wakes he up. Wakes up okay, he goes, I forgot that fact. Then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This yeah, is starting... The important part. This is starting at the break. Like, it's right. it's starting to deteriorate. Right, right but you know? the beginning of the show meant, like, the very first episode start, it just begins with this kid waking up in that church. Right, it, well, that's yeah, what, a drug that's addict. Okay. Yeah, I, I yeah went right oh, to that's Rick similarity. waking up because it started right with the first, um, your your first few zombies starting or whatever. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Patient I kind of, I kind of take it as like I'm not becoming fully invested in, any, am I. in any of these characters because in the back of my they mind, don't do it for die. me, dude. They're, they're all gonna die. Well, that's the same thing with. Well, we don't know that. We don't know that. No, you don't know that they're all gonna die. Yeah. True, yeah. but that's just the way I feel about it. Like in my mind, like I'm, it's I'm just watching like Walking it. Dead. You want to see which one actually lives, and in yeah. this, in Walking Dead, the only people that you want to see live is Daryl. No, so would I you say the? Uh, I in want to your see. Uh, I like I Maggie. Like I like Maggie, man. I like Maggie. I like the Chinese dude. Yeah, you know, I like cool. a couple of them. Glenn, I like. Uh, Glenn, yeah, yeah. Read the comic books. I got some bad news for you about some of those characters. Right. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Oh yeah. come on! I wasn't going to spoil that. Spoilers. <laughs> it doesn't okay. matter. It doesn't matter. The the show went way away from the graphic novel a long yeah. time ago. But. Yeah, because there's there's no uh, Merle and. Uh, and what's his name? And if you haven't book? read yeah. or been told what has happened in the graphic novel by now, 
You're beat. I mean, this, there's no. You're, you should have fucking done something. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you realize there's other. They're, they're talking about another spinoff now. Yeah. A yeah. third one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I now think they should be crazy. This, the cheese of The Walking Dead. Well, I think they should just wait. <laughs> and the cheese they leave behind. All about the stuff they leave behind. Well, well that's like they're going to spin off be Agents the, of when they walk. It's just Mockingbird. It's like, really? True. You, yeah. You barely include superheroes in this one. And that's the mm. only reason why the yeah. show has progressed is because you're seeing. The birth of Deathlock. You're seeing yeah. they brought uh, what's her name Sif in for an episode with mm-hmm. Lorelai. Yeah, well, more than one episode she mm-hmm. was in, but yeah, a couple. Well, but yeah. the last episode of uh, did the the season premiere happen yet? What of Shield? Shield? No, no, no right. The last episode was you know him. Uh, I'm sorry, the chick. What's her name? Um, Sky. Sky. No, 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 no. The the little scientist girl. Oh, Fitz. The ner- yeah, Fitz. Oh, the oh, Simmons. Simmons. Oh, yeah. Simmons. 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 Simmons, not Fitz. Simmons. Simmons. Simmons gets eaten up by the glob that was in the... Uh, I yeah. met her by accident. And that's where it just like, <laughs> ended. So I'm wow. really interested to see what happens with How that have the other situation. Marvel spin-offs been? Uh, the Carter or whatever? And the... Agent Carter. Oh, Agent Carter. Agent Carter was I was really good. good. I like that's Agent Carter. That was a good show. That was a good show. Agent Carter was really good. Oh, really? Yeah, she... London Film Comic Con, she was brilliant. I tried to get an interview, but her agent scared me off. But, uh, <laughs> scared you off, bro? You can't take that she's, from them. No, she's terrifying. <laughs> she's terrifying. <laughs> really? Um, That's when you yeah, get in her face and you just... Because what is she going to do? at you and it's like, Jesus. Anyway, so just back to Agent Carter. <laughs> Give her a I thoroughly face. enjoyed that show because it, it, it focuses heavily on the sexual inequality of the 1940s. Right. Uh-huh. But it also feeds very well into the whole history and it's nice to see how Marvel's dealing with this history. No, oh, yeah, so, I, would, right. I would agree with that. I definitely liked it, and I know it's coming back for a season two. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, I, I love the I relationship catch this. between. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Would you say it's a it's a better effort than Shield? Oh yes, I would say yes. it's done. It's, I wouldn't necessarily. I think the problem with Shield was it started I, off. I kind think of they, good. they started off with the big let's not have much. any. Yeah, well, they, it was a little bit boring with let's not let's start you off in the Marvel universe. But let's not show you any Marvel characters or At all. what have you. Yep. Right. Yeah. Now yeah, they cause... started incorporating Mockingbird. They brought in Deathlock. They brought in Lorelai. They brought in Sif. Mm-hmm. They brought in the Inhumans, which could have a huge repercussion for that movie when it comes out. Yeah. They brought in um, uh, the Absorbing Man, which is really good. Um, yeah. Is Inhumans so... number one worth anything? I have the first comic in Humans number one. Uh, but no. then they um, no. <laughs> probably not right. Dollar fifty. Whatever it says on the, on the cover. Stuff. Okay. <laughs> The, the way Carter does it better is, even though we cannot actually see anything to do with the rest of the Marvel Universe, hmm. we've already seen the Howling Commandos, and it was quite interactive. Yeah. And then cool. uh, in each episode, we get a uh, a Captain America uh, radio so episode like midway through. Like That's it goes, true. "I'm here, Captain America, save the world," and it's just. Um, it's a radio show. From is it forward. is it his voice or no? Uh, no, no, it's it's, no, no. Not. it's a guy actually named Ralph Garman who does a Hollywood Babylon with Kevin Smith. Okay, yeah, He's I know a who he is. Morning DJ. Yeah, yeah, I know. So who he is. does a radio guy's voice. Okay, yeah. it's all uh, literally 1945, still carrying on the propaganda of Captain America. I right. mean, mm. from yeah. a historical standpoint, I love the show, and I, from a story standpoint, cool. I love where it's going. That's really cool. Yeah, and who who's caught the Daredevil series? Oh, I have what the Daredevil series. Dude, what's his name day. playing the Kingpin was, was freaking awesome. The whole series. I freaking love that actor yeah. too. I love uh, Charlie Cox as, as um, uh, Daredevil. I love him as Matt Murdock. What's his name? Vincent uh, D'Onofrio, man, yeah. Kingpin. Yeah. I love that guy. Private dude. Pile. I'll oh, always yeah. see him as Private right. Pile. Oh yeah, me too. I'll I'll always see him as that too. But that he the dude from SVU, not SVU. He's psychotic, man. Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds, thank you. Yeah. He is psychotic. But he does a great King Pain. He, yeah, he uh, does, man. Way better than uh, Booger, or whatever his name is. Uh, this was a good good choice, too. Black guy. The Broccoli guy. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck's his name? I, I just love how it was just so gritty. Yeah. You know yeah, it was. It was dirty, uh, gritty. One scene that woke me up and said, this is not like Marvel's other shows, when that guy headbutted the spike. Mm. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, my God. No, this. it's dirty, man. It's you know what, dirty. You know what did it that brought it into reality, which was really good? They show him getting tired, kicking ass in that hallway. Yes, and that was an awesome fight. That hallway you know fight what? was yes. done brilliantly. brilliantly. When have you ever seen a hero go stop for a minute and take yep. a breath? Because yep. that was that was just showing. Showed how human yeah. he is. How human yeah, he is. Man. Yep. Yeah, I can see. Although I'm blind, but I, damn, I'm yep. so tired yeah. fighting. All and these. how he got his ass kicked and ended up at the night nurse. It's oh like, yeah. Yep. Yes. yes. A lot of and people. The night nurse are going to carry over into the other yeah. shows. As right. Well, which is That's going to mix in. Awesome. It's going to tie in. Awesome. One scene we have to, we'd also admit was great. When Foggy finds out he, he is Daredevil and that he can see, 
and he's like, "How many fingers am I holding yeah. up?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. He's like, "Well, I thought they thought th- I thought they did that a little too soon, though." Yeah, I did too. Yeah, yeah. A lot of um, a lot of people. I don't know about how you guys feel, but a lot of people were very unhappy about the costume. I heard I a like, lot of gripes about it. At the end, it. when they revealed it, yeah, a <laughs> lot of people hated it. If you look on the internet, people friggin' but hated it. You know why? It. It's because it's it's, really? it's not really what. Because you know, it's not a skin tight leotard. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't have an no issue with it. It's like blood red. I didn't have an issue with it. I didn't. I, mean, I like no. Really yeah, I didn't no gripe it either. On the chest. Now, shouldn't not they have done the? Well, yeah, yellow... that's what I would agree with. The fact that the it was, the it was, there was no double D yeah. anywhere yes. on the chest. So it's like let's just call it yet because maybe he hasn't. Yet. He yeah. hasn't gotten the right. mi- the moniker of Daredevil. I mean, he does actually change his costume a couple times, right? Well, initially it was it was yellow and yellow and brown. Yeah, brown. Well, that's what they should have. That's what they should have started with then. Yellow and brown, but I, I I can't wait for season two. Just the oh, additions yeah. that I've heard. You mm-hmm. got the uh, the guy that played. Punisher. Well, the what's pun- next? Yeah, the Punisher. What's well, next? Yeah. Before they come out of season Before two, they come there's out gonna season be... two. There's going to be season one of Jessica Jones. Jessica That's Jones. Jones. Yeah, Which, yeah. if you read the comic book Alias, was one of the Marvel. I think it was a Marvel Knights book. It was, it was a Marvel Knights book. book, and it was very well done. They retconned her into the Marvel universe very well, mm-hmm. better than they did uh, their version of Superman Sentry. Yes. Uh, and you got to like the character. At first, I thought Alias isn't it the Jennifer Garner TV show? And then yeah. I, when I was reading the book, I'm like, oh, this is interesting. This is a different take. Well, and they did a great also, job. It was also really cool what they did with that Alias is that they also resurrected um, Luke Jessica Cage? Drew. Oh well. Oh yes. Spider Woman. Spider Woman, right? That I thought was really cool how they took both of them characters, and also you're right with with Luke Cage becoming more of a. a, a of a love interest as opposed to being the superhero. It didn't start was. off at love. It started yeah. off as a get <laughs> he, drunk and let's party from behind. Yeah, yeah. Luke Cage. in the book. He's another Netflix show, right? That's right. going to be coming. Yep. Luke Cage Not and Iron Defenders. Fist, right? No, Luke Cage Defenders. is going to have his own show. What about Iron yeah. Fist? And he's going to have his own show as well. No, it's all Netflix, thought, though. I thought yeah, they, they were going to throw in that. No, they're all going to throw in Netflix series called The Defenders. They're all yeah, After but they're all going to have their own singer series. All singles first. What? Yeah. yeah, Iron Fist, yeah. Power Man, and uh, yeah, they're all going to have their own thirteen episode single series, uh, well, single season, and then. But see, I don't know. On. I don't know if they're going to do it that way though, too. Because I don't I, think, I don't the think they I, should. I, I reckon they might do one series called The Defenders, and they split it up into sections. See, well, I no. would rather take a. I would rather do have each individual series, yep. Daredevil, whatever it has, and then have. A, have a two-hour movie event where you pull them Ooh. in for a Defenders movie and make it like seasonal, like kind of like the Doctor Who Christmas episodes. <laughs> it's yes. just a one. It's a one-off from the series, right? But as far as I, the, from what the way I understand, a couple of the articles that I've read and, and what's been on uh, posted on Comic Book Movie is is that the time framing of it all. I'm not sure how they're going to go about it. I mean, we know season one for Daredevil came out. We know season one for Jessica Drew's on it. Uh, I'm not Jessica Drew. Jessica yeah, but Jones. Daredevil takes place after Avengers, but I think before, before Age of Ultron. Ultron. Right. Yes, because Foggy makes a little bit of a, um, a premise, Reference, yeah. a, a mm-hmm. joke about going, oh, yeah. machines, they'll be ruling the world. And right. it's, it's quite a funny little... Um, yeah, and there's a newspaper for, in for the background shadowing. that talks about the Avengers movie. Yeah. Right. So it's foreshadowing but so, it's definitely I'm, before I'm, Age of Ultron I'm assuming that Jessica Jones is going to come out and then before Luke Cage and before Iron Fist they're going to have season 2 for Daredevil yes, because yeah, that's, they're already uh, shooting year. they're already shooting all of that actually and yeah. the funny thing was is uh, oh Elektra's going to be in it yeah Elektra and the Punisher and the, uh, there's talks of Bullseye too yeah yeah well, if they do it right which so far they seem to be doing I'm very excited for it you know, unlike the piece of trash that was the movie. Mm. I love that movie. Yo, Netflix. Oh, Netflix God. has a good, uh, Daredevil. good standing, man. Seriously, dude. <laughs> they do. They do good. Black. <laughs> Once upon a time, that they pick that that up. What? Who? A little bit. Who's uh, watching Once Upon a Time? You guys watch that show? It's amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't yeah, watch it. I love I it. Watch season one. Or I'm really just kidding. I hate. That show. I can't stand How it. Can you hate it? I, I hate can't it. stand I it. it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I go into it. It makes yeah. absolutely no sense. It's, it's superheroes for girls. Come it's, on, that's yeah. what it is. It's superheroes. And also, for girls. every single season, so they come out the with a comical same. Wonder Woman series again. There's yeah. no yeah. real plot to it at all. Oh, it's so <laughs> bad. I, I can't stand that chubby little fat face girl, the main character, the Snow White one. Oh, oh God. yeah, I can't. Yeah. Santa, that's why they. Oh, I hate her. She wasn't always chubby. She wasn't always chubby. I actually root for Rumpelstiltskin and Regina. So yes, I evil. 
the, yeah, yeah, Regina and Rumble Stiltskin are the only really. Emma's bad now. Emma's bad now. Yeah, she is. The Dark it's, Swan. It's, it's quite funny. She literally just. Uh, I watched the, the season Swan. five, episode one yesterday. Yeah, I did too. I get bits and pieces from the women in my life, and but, uh, I'm like, I hate that show. Don't talk yeah, to me about it. That's a don't great show, though. Talk about it. I'm but on the same page, Mike. <laughs> the thing I'm most excited about that actually just happened, what, last Wednesday? What, well, Heroes? No, Thursday was, was Heroes. Heroes, Heroes yes. yes. Heroes coming back reborn. out was... I really want to watch I'll it tonight. You, I had as soon goosebumps. as I saw it, that's Literally, what I was just going to say. I had goosebumps when it started, uh-huh. and the music came on, it was and, like, and, and, and it was like... <laughs> the whole thing was like I was like, wow, dude, this is my dreams. And a lot of the uh, oh, if you, if you didn't see a lot it, of the same cast. Um, so far, a lot of the same cast. There's some newbies though. Well, so still far, Hideo. I mean, be uh, exactly hero though, because he's uh, because he's uh, Spock, and you're right. not going to get uh, what's well, no, her name, that, Hayden Pantieri, because she's in Nashville. But I, they got almost everybody else. It's got I Skyler. Zachary Levi was in. No, I mean Siler. Siler's in Siler's dead. Window? Yeah, Siler's is he in it? Dead. He's not in the series. He didn't premiere in the sure? show. Yes. Wait, who? Wait, what? Siler. He's not in it? And besides, Siler. he got shape shifting abilities. He's dead. What do you mean he's any dead? any actor to be him if exactly. they wanted Exactly. That's true. That's exactly. true. What do you mean he's dead? He was dead in... Shh, don't spoil it. No, you didn't see that? Didn't he die? In the beginning? No. He no. died at the end of the first the of... series, quote unquote. But I don't remember. I do not remember. It was so long ago. I, I watched them all. It ended either. I um, do not remember either, man. Well, don't but forget no, that series started in 2004 and ran yeah. to what? 2000 yeah, it's, it's been a while, man. It's been yeah. a while. The uh, so almost 10 years. Yeah, yeah two years yeah. off though, right? I just so remember like, that whole carnival right. shit, and then I was like, uh, okay, I'm done. Yeah, last, that was the yeah. last season, right? That was season five. That was horrible. Well, that was also because of the writer strike. If you remember the writer. Oh yeah, yeah screwed, screwed a lot of things up. The writer strike is what ruined that show and lost, in my opinion. Uh, some of the other people that returned, okay, we got... Um, One Room Glasses. We got Hero. 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 Noah Bennett. Peter. Hero Bennett. Hero Nakamura. Yeah. Peter. Peter's not in it. Nope. Norm- none, of, none, of the, uh, none of the Petr- uh, Petrocellis were their names? Yeah. Yes. No, I don't know what their names were. Petrellis. 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 That's Petrellis. what it is. None of the Petrellis Nathan were in it. and Peter. Um, but, you know, the guy... What about the glasses, cheerleader? No. She, no. She, she's doing uh, Nashville. Yeah, she's on that show, uh, Nashville. Oh, uh, that's her. But and they, they allude Her father? Her father? No. Yeah, yeah no. Noah Bennett. Noah Bennett. Yeah, he's in it. Cool. But I they like allude it. that Claire dies because right. they show in a commercial a body under a tarp with long blonde hair, and it says to avenge his family, he'll stop at nothing or something like that. And you just see him leaning over this body, but huh. you, they don't pull the cover off the face. And then they have like the little quote that says, you know, they couldn't save the cheerleader, but right. the world still needs heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Save the, save the <clears throat> cheerleaders, save um, the world, but now it's save the world, save the future, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Um, but there's uh, some new guy, new characters that. Uh, Is there a new villain? Chick. She was pretty badass. Yeah. Um, what, was there, what, cool. what was the guy calling her? Ninja Girl or. Uh, Rick? Sa- 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 Samurai Girl? Samurai Girl, whatever. But or sushi Girl? S- or something. Is there, sushi Girl. Um, she Is it still too early? Is there any villain in sight? No, it's still oh, too early. Uh, I mean, it was a two-hour premiere of introducing characters and that kind of thing. Didn't show any hint of a villain, though? They I mean, right off the bat. They show people killing hero people. Right, yeah. they show people mm. killing hero basically, people. Basically, I mean... Which is basically like what you would have Noah Bennett was right. in the beginning of the show, how he was not well, really... Well, he was, he was never really killing people. He was capturing them. Yeah, capturing them. Right. These two were mm. just straight off them. But killing. you don't know who they're working for, by the way. This 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 series has, to me, if any of you read uh, Michael J. Straczynski's Rising Stars seems to me a little similar. Well, to oh me, my it God, also... total silence. So none of you have read Rising <laughs> Stars. No, sir. No, I don't no. think so. All right. Your homework for this week is to go out and get the trade paperback of Michael J. Straczynski's Rising Stars and Midnight Nation. Who, uh, for what? I'll look D- it up DC on YouTube or, or have a read through. At he, first, he I bring... thought it was like another American <laughs> Idol or something. I wasn't no, sure. No, he... Put it this way he's the guy who penned uh, Babylon 5. He's doing the show on Netflix called Sense 8. You haven't seen that TV show? Sense8, I heard, was supposed to be a really good show. I I, I couldn't see it first. I know who you're you're talking about. you got to give it a little time because they're introducing eight characters, actually nine characters, but they're doing it from almost their perspective, so you're getting to learn what's happening to all these characters along with the characters. So it is a little confusing to start with. Kind of like Game of Thrones. Mm. My problem was that I didn't care. (laughs) <laughs> about the characters at all, so I didn't want I didn't want to in the, understand their plight. I just I was like, just didn't uh, did, Jesus didn't affect Christ. Right? Didn't do it. For <laughs> all right. Well, I like well, Flash. Flash and Arrow were both I thought were really good. I can't wait for. Well, actually, I didn't really watch Arrow. I'd only seen a couple of yeah, episodes Flash. where it crossed over. Arrow was pretty Flash. good. I mean, I, I started Arrow's watching good. it. We watched the first um, season, and my wife at first didn't want to watch because she's like, he's always got his shirt off. 
I'm like, well, they have to sell it to the little girls. But well, as the series got on, it seemed really good. She didn't want to see that. Huh? <laughs> nah, she's, nah, my she's, wife, happy, like, she's, she's happy, happy with the belly. Is that what it is? That's <laughs> right. Nothing's better than the man she's got because yeah. I got a different kind of arrow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> is it pointy? <laughs> Uh, I only saw him this shut off once, <laughs> and it was the first episode. You know, the lightning gave me abs. Like, all right then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Flash. Oh, yeah, Flash. Yeah, yeah. It's the only time I ever saw the shut off in that show. I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, yeah. but they also, they also make good. mention of the next season of Arrow. They're teasing Green Lantern by mentioning Coast City. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they are. Yeah, I, I don't think they'll do it because I think they want to kind of retain the rights to Green Lantern in the movies. Ryan Reynolds, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, he's he already has, he's hey. already gone on record saying he'll never do the, another sequel to that movie ever again. Nor yeah, should. Yeah. Yeah. Is, I, I didn't think it was a bad movie. I actually liked it. What? I actually liked it. I Lantern thought it was. Movie. Are you not messing with me bad. right now? I'm not messing. Oh with man. Even I liked though, it. Look, we got jaded though. We saw it in 3D, and then the oh, movie yeah, messed even... up like two times. And that's the only time you ever saw it. That should have been a warning. Well, yeah. that was right. And then we <laughs> I didn't mind it, man. I mean, it was better than it was better than the worst Marvel movies. I'm more a little bit annoyed about how Grant Gustin. Is the perfect Barry Allen Flash? Yet we're getting um, that like half Hispanic guy as Wally West in the actual Dawn of Justice film. Please tell me you guys know about this. Yeah, no, I've heard that. It's it's a bit dumb. Well, I think the way that DC is going about all of their television and everything that they're doing is kind of a bit dumb because they're also putting yeah, Gotham. They're separating it. Yeah, they're separating, but they're also putting up their own. They're like competing against themselves because Gotham's on uh, eight o'clock on on Mondays. Well, Supergirl is going to also be eight eight o'clock on Mondays. So they're like competing yeah. against themselves for ratings, which makes no sense to me. But not really. Yeah. I mean, are they? Is Fox owned by Warner Brothers? No, no, it's two different. So, so they're not. They're competing against each other. They're not competing against each other. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's still DC, right? But Gotham it's like, and, and Supergirl, it's still DC versus DC, as opposed yeah, it's, to it's really putting not. it on a Tuesday, yeah, like it's... like what they're doing with the Flash going up against Shield. But right, the yeah. po- the you properties I mean? are being run through two different yeah, networks, two so different networks. no, and they're actually they're, they're having the same trouble with TV that Marvel's having with the movies, right? Yeah, yeah. and no, it's just what's just right. really stupid is that somebody just needs to have the balls to just put it all together and say, well, why can't we do what Marvel does? where they involve the TV show in the movies slightly. They make reference to them so that you get a, 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 an idea of a bigger world out there yeah, rather than cohesive. this is Arrow, this is Flash. They're all on their own. Supergirl is on her own over there. Uh, I mean, hell, even the TV show Limitless started off with, uh, uh, what's his name, making a guest appearance in the first episode to, to carry on from the movie. He he also, Cooper. Didn't he write yes. that, though? Yeah, I think. He was, um, didn't he? Didn't he? he he's he a producer. I believe, oh, he's, but he's a producer. Series. That show is a pretty cool show that I've pretty much jumped on to. Limitless. I, I can't wait. I, I, haven't, the film. I haven't checked it out yet. Also, no. the Blind Spot was also another one that I, I jumped on to. That's only. Yeah, that's more like a, one. Um, yeah, one show that, that I recently jumped on. Like my friend told me about it. I was like, yeah, I'll be all right. It was Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty, great show. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta we got, love the show. We got to uh, we got to interview those guys, the cast what? of Rick and Morty. At you got Comic-Con. to interview Justin Roiland, the whole cast at Comic Con last year. Hmm. Yeah, um, you, it would have been Justin Roiland because Justin Roiland's the uh, creator as well as the voice of Rick and Morty. Right. Yeah, and then every other voice actor that was on that show was there. Um, I can't remember her name. Freaking. The music is um, so fucking. Becky annoying. from Roseanne, but the second version. Oh. Becky too. Yeah, dude, I can't remember her name, but <laughs> she's she's know, a voice right? actor on that show. <laughs> I think she plays. Sister. Um, right. Yeah. Oh, summer. Keep so keep summer safe. Right. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but we <laughs> they were they were crazy. All bunch can be of, returned. Yeah, All can be taken away. Um, but it was it's a good show. I I like watching. Um, you know the, the beginning when I when I had watched it. And yeah. It was it was. Crazy, you know it's the whole cra- show's it's, crazy. It's, I mean, it's a cartoon, so I mean, if it's you're not crazy. Into cartoons, it's quirky. So. And it doesn't stick to the normal conventions right. of television shows yeah. because Justin Rowland does not believe in continuity. We saw, if you, like season one, a evil version of Morty who was using, essentially, was taking trying to take over the universe. We're never going to see that again. The show believes in letting the sh- letting it work as a story organically and doing pretty much exactly what it wants, mm. and they use. A f- very far-fetched science to fill the gaps in our minds, and as we, as an audience, associate with Morty, we just accept it, just like he does. Like the the, the line on where Morty and his dad are on Mars, and a Martian goes, 
are you and your dad idiots? And he goes, well, yeah, me and my dad for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty decent show. And it does, it, it does have a bit of a, uh, a style of Brecht to it. Brecht is a, uh, a, a playwright and he kind of liked people to think about their day-to-day lives after watching a, a piece because it very often takes the piss out of either some government figure, um, a a producer, a studio figure, like they take a piss out of Fox as always, or the Adult Swim show. Yeah, and they also just uh, basically just mess with the conventions of normal writing and story. I mean, going on like those type of shows. There's another one coming out. I think on October eighth. It's called Super Mansion. You could check out the trailer on our Facebook page. Um, we got that up there for you guys, and it's basically. It, it's called Super Mansion, but it's about these League of Freedom. And it's like all these degenerate superheroes who go around trying to, you know, save the day, but in the process, like, destroy everything in their paths. Yeah, so it's like the old um, Damage Incorporated comic. But it's done by um, Seth Green, and Brian Cranston is, is one of the voices. He's like the voice of the, um, the leader guy. I can't remember his name, but he's like this old dude with, like, a, a metal hand. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually pretty funny, um, you know. So you can check out that trailer on our Facebook. See, page. They had to get Brian Cranston because no one takes Seth Green seriously. <laughs> True. Um, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. R plus L equals J. Still a little while away. <laughs> Have you? Are you yeah, caught up, Tooms? Yeah. You caught up? Yeah. All right. They finally got caught. Yeah, caught I'm up. finally caught up. Um, yeah. All I gotta say is, if you haven't watched it thus far. Well, too bad because we're talking about you're it. messing up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys think Snow's coming back or what? Uh, Definitely, right yes. Yeah, they're going to burn yeah. his body. His body's not going to burn, and uh-huh. the Red Priestess is going to bring him back to life. Oh yeah, and then she's going to bang him. Watch, and then he's going to be she retarded. To arrest. Just, I know she's going to succeed. A lot time. of uh, a lot of people <laughs> think his soul might take presence in a warg. Yes, yep. as a, as the dog, yes. as his uh, little that's hound. Theory out there. Oh, like a spirit mm-hmm. animal kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, that's a. See, that was the one thing that bummed me out about the last season. Snow dying. No, I could care less about Snow dying. That's one of the reasons Die was like, ah, if he's dead, I might not watch. Oh, you were done when Joffrey died. As soon as Joffrey died, you <laughs> cried. <laughs> I, I saw the crying. tears yeah, driving. You know me. Yeah. I wanted him to I don't start blame you. He was out. funny as hell. But no, uh, what bummed me out though is that they never got back to the brand. The kid, the other yeah, dude, the two. Yeah, yeah he was. Well, they purposely M-I- said that they were yeah. going to not showcase Brian, his younger brother, and the meeting the creepy guy in the tree. Yeah, I was. I, I was kind of waiting for that at least at yeah. some point. Like you know, even yeah, just, just a little time, an episode you know? or whatever. Door, door. Right. Yeah, what's going <laughs> on with them? I would have liked to have known that. And the other thing that uh, I don't know, I think he went out like a sucker. The guy, he definitely. Uh, who's John? Who did? No, the Hound. Oh, the hound. Oh, the hound. He went out like a sucker, dude. He got his ass beat by that. He went out like bitch. a sucker, dude. He didn't even <laughs> die. And then he was like, oh, you know, help me die. And she bounced on him. How do you know he's even dead or going to die? Yeah, yeah we don't, we, I don't think he's dead. I don't it's think like, he's dead. It's like, just like the die. mountain is not dead. Well, yeah. The mountain, they brought back to right. life, though. That dude brought him back as a, like a Don't the mountain basically just be like that thing out of Resident Evil? Mm. Yeah. The zombie with a giant house. One of the many things out of Resident Evil. It just bummed me out, though. I was like, eh, you know. It was good. I liked it and all, you know. I, I think the dragons, they have to definitely uh, factor how about How about more. this? How about some point, you know, Bran is going to meet up with Daenerys and Bran can control the dragons. Mm. True. I hope he yeah. burns the fuck out of her. She's annoying. <laughs> she can't burn. That's the she whole thing. She can't burn, right. Yeah, she, okay, I hope it just chomps on her and then just mints. Well, <laughs> yeah, she's I mean, chomping yeah. on her. They could definitely do that. What about Queenie walking down the hill? Shame. Oh, that was ah, great. Shame. <laughs> I've met her yeah, naked like her. that. God bless. Oh you, yes, son. yes. No, it's actually not her real body because she's doing. She's no, they had a body something. double. Yeah, body double for most of that. Did they really? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. they body double. But also, if, if you if you like, except game, from the from the from the front and back, I believe the topless part was her. She has no problem bearing a breast. She did it in three hundred. Yeah, and she if did. Gave her the opportunity in, in the Terminator series on TV. She probably would have done it there too. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. I can tell you one thing though. Uh, if you if you like Game of Thrones, then you should check out Bastard Executioner. On are on we just FX. plugging shows now? No, I'm serious. No, though. it's real. I got it right here on my uh, in my book. Bastard yeah, it's it's it's, 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 it's loosely based in truth. It's yeah. it's done it, by Kurt Sutter. 
Yes. Yeah. Oh, the same the, guy. Sons of Anarchy. Anarchy. Yeah. Mm. I just. I mean, it's it's definitely a super cool show. Like Sons was really. I like. I like that Viking yeah, show like that Sons. was on. Uh, you like Vikings? Oh, Vikings, good. Man. Well, Vikings, Vikings was really on good. on uh, History See, I didn't Channel. Really get or into like it. That. But that's oh, kinda, you got to get into it. Yeah, that, that's a good. great it show. Is good. That's a great show. But that that show. This is what Bastard Executioner kind of reminds me of that a little bit more than Game of Thrones, obviously. Okay. Cause yeah. Because it's, it's it's more set in reality than it is set in in like a, a fake world. Right. 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 Well, if you want to, you can take it in a context that Vikings takes place probably about four or five hundred years before Bastard Executioner, because mm. it's all in the same history. Right. Because yeah. I think they even talk about. Uh, who was it? The only king that didn't submit was the king of Wessex, and you know, if you know right, your history, right, right. and my English friend should know this. Mm-hmm. Should should is the key word. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it depends. And he's the one going to college tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, it's it's in, called uh, university, bro. Uh, no, not in England. In England, it's college. Oh, it is. University is something completely separate. Oh, um, shit. Look what I... Really ah, ah, shows what I know. That's really Bitch. That's right. really um, hoity-toity. No, did I tell right. you my mom's from Liverpool? I've been there a couple of times. I know a thing or two. <laughs> yep. The best beggar place is called Almost Famous. Really? Okay. Like the stupid movie? Yeah. No. Oh. Just... Uh, like... <laughs> anyway, but back to... Uh, back to uh, with English history, we, get, we mainly get... We skim over the uh, Norman Conquest, that sort of thing, and just mainly focus on the Elizabethan era. And nobody wants to talk about the losses. The lesbian era? Is that what you just said? Yeah. yeah. Eli- Elizabethan era. Oh, England's listen, greatest time. We all times. speak English. Some of us abuse it more than others. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, other than that, man, I, I think that we pretty much ran up our time on shows and yeah. stuff like that. So why don't, why don't you guys it check is. us out on Geek Blast on Facebook? Um, mm. We're always going to have a recording of whatever we're doing this evening on there. In a couple hey, do we have a Twitter one? We do. It's, we do uh, have a Twitter. It's at KMDT Geek Blast. That's our Twitter handle. Um, also, I wanted to let everybody know uh, about Saturday nights, okay? So every Saturday night, my friends at Corrosive Radio and myself. Are we friends? My, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, we play a hey, game. You forgot me. <laughs> We play. Oh, yeah, James is there sometimes too. Um, yeah. You weren't there for the last couple of weeks, but neither was neither I. You. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> check us out on Twitch. We're playing some games. We're bantering each other and having a good time while doing it. So, oh, uh, I'm usually drunk. Well, now Brendan's usually drunk. And they, the Skyrim world, they don't have. It doesn't shouldn't have aliens, man. I'm not <laughs> happy about it. Dave doesn't like Skyrim when we play Skyrim because it's modded. I'm only drunk. Um, oh, you are too. Well, don't tell the law of that. <laughs> the bobbies the bobbies that not been called that since hear that the stupid song i made you did hear that what did only tourists and jerk offs call them i don't bobbies. remember what it was about <laughs> I don't yeah. remember what well uh so like i said that does it for us check us out on facebook check us out on twitter and of course you can get every episode of geek blast on youtube our geek blast youtube channel so ah. that does it for us this evening Geek Blast is out. out. Welcome to Geek Blast. Geek Blast, yeah, 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 yeah. Geek Blast, you better make way. You open up your ears or let the word spray. Hey, hey, did you hear the noise? Something just exploded as a mushroom. Have you noticed? Geek Blast, clear out the path. Kids were throwing taka and Chewbacca is a rat. Hey, what? Better call your dad. Something has been growing underneath the doormat. 